voices to sing together and we are going to begin with CGS hymn number 46. Hymn number 46 from CGS. You are welcome to the house of the Lord on this lovely Sunday morning. May the Lord bless you for coming to join us to um, praise God, worship God, and of course to um, be grateful for the best of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, whose uh, birthday we are all celebrating around this time. We want to pray that may he be born in the heart of everyone. Amen. A similar warm welcome is extended to our internet audience, wherever they may be. We pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. This is the Apostolic Faith Church, the branch, located on number 13, um, 13 Penhe Road, DA53EP. If you live locally and you still like to join us, you are very welcome. But for now, wherever you are, you can join us. We have just started with the um, dummy giving us the um, clarinet solo, the choir, All Hail Emmanuel, and then O Holy Star um, as a quartet that we've just listened to. Those are just the items that you have missed, but you can as well join in the remainder of this um, service as we sing together in number 46. Let's take verses 1 and 4. Verses 1 and 4. O come, all ye faithful. <laughs>
again, 562 from the same hymn book, 562. I want to be like Jesus. Amen. So lowly and so meek. The truth of the matter is stated in the last verse of this song that says, but oh, I am not like Jesus. As anyone may see, gentle Savior, make me to be like thee. Amen. May that be our prayers today. Amen. Let's take verses 1, 2, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 5, and 6. <laughs> I want to be like Daniel be our God.
first song before the congregational prayer, and that is going to be like thee, O Lord, we just ask that this day, O Lord, you open our eyes of understanding to see, Lord, where we are falling short, that much as we desire to be like thee, those areas, O Lord, where we need your touch, where we need your healing, Lord God, those areas where we need you, O oh God, to do more work on us. We pray that as we submit unto thee in prayers, and Lord God, in humility, look up to you, O oh Lord God, that you will come down today, and you will do this perfect work of yours in every heart, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we have come today not to seek in vain, but to seek and find you truly. We ask, O oh Lord, because we know that Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Uh, it is not the amount of work we do. It is not our position. It is not the title that we answer. It is not how frequent we are in coming to Sunday school or the services. Lord God, it is being like you. We ask, O oh God, as you taught us in the Sunday school this morning, you will give us that different spirit, that spirit that is like Jesus Christ that spirit that wants to just glorify God at all times, that spirit that we dare to stand alone in the face of opposition, oh God, please give us more of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to our heart this morning, oh God. Lord, we are remembering your birth. Uh, your birth brought hope to the world that was hopeless. Your birth, oh Lord Jesus Christ, brought, brought life unto the dead. 
um, the dead in sin, the dead in unrighteousness. We are just praying this morning, anyone and everyone that is yet to experience that touch of yours, oh God, that the purpose of your coming to the world is yet to be fulfilled in their lives. We pray that today you will touch every such heart. And that miracle of salvation will happen in every soul. And we ask, oh Lord God, that you will sanctify so that we will be more like you. There will be oneness among us, oh God. And we will do all things to glorify you. Let your Holy Ghost come down. Let him baptize us, oh Lord God. And let him make us conform more to your image. Heal the sick this morning. Everyone that is troubled one way or the other. Lord, please relieve them of their troubles. Give us victory, O Lord. We commit the preacher to your hands and ask that your spirit will come upon him mightily. We pray for unction upon him, O Lord God. Let your word come out in power and authority. And let your name be glorified. Thank you for answered prayers, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. taking this from the book of Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 25. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 to 25. 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. 18. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Amen. 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, Amen. joy, Amen. peace, right. long-suffering, uh -huh. gentleness, Amen. goodness, Amen. faith, Amen. meekness, Amen. temperance. Right. Against such there is no law. 
24. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. 25, the last verse. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit.
Christ. Amen. Shall we open our Bible to the book of Numbers, the 14th chapter? Numbers chapter 14 is um, the text that we use for our Sunday school this morning. We have a proclamation in that text that I would like us to return to. Numbers chapter 14, I'm reading verses 23 and 24. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him and has followed me fully, him will I bring into the land where into he went, and his seed shall possess it. Amen. May God help us to get to the heavenly Canaan. 2018 is winding up. We are moving closer. Oh, okay. I've added one year then. Thank God. We will see the end of the new year. In the name of Jesus. That will turn to be a testimony. I meant to say 2017. It's winding up. And as it is winding up, we are getting closer and closer. And one of these days is going to happen, Amen. either individually yeah. or collectively, yeah. it will happen. Yeah. I pray that we are not going to bleach our bones in the wilderness of this life. Yeah. We must make it yes. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And God, in this particular passage, came with a formula for making it. He talked about another spirit, a different spirit. The subject of individual differences is an important element in educational psychology. Um, in that curriculum to which um, I went through, and of course, all those who have gone through teacher training they will understand uh, when you are taking through these um, um, psychology, especially when it gets to individual differences, in terms of teaching us that our students are different, different preferences, different learning styles, di different reactions. And as a teacher, they want to teach us that we should take all this into consideration when we are preparing our lesson plan as well as in the delivery of that um, lesson. And we, 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 we try to do that, both at um, college level as well as in the university, where you have adult, educate, um, adult students. Uh, um, you still take all this into consideration. But there is one problem that I observed in all of this. As we deal with these individual differences in terms of what we can see and even we try to um, uh, presume or some aspects of human beings that we cannot see, there is one thing that is lacking in this study of individual differences, and that is the spirit. We can have a different spirit. Amen. 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 Actually, to make heaven, as God has said here, we must have another spirit. We must have a different spirit. Thank God that we have the answer in the Bible. A different spirit, a right spirit, as opposed to a wrong spirit. A clean spirit, as opposed to an unclean spirit. 
an excellent spirit as opposed to a bad spirit, a new spirit as opposed to an old spirit, the spirit of God as opposed to the spirit of the devil. Praise God for Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank God that Jesus Christ was born to give us another spirit, Amen. to give us a different spirit. Amen. If you are present here or you are hearing me over the webcast and you have not been able to experience this new spirit, this different spirit, it is my prayer that today, Jesus Christ will make it possible for you to have it. Amen. That's why he came, that's why he died, that's why he suffered and he resurrected. And that's why we are celebrating his birth, because we know that he can give us that new spirit. In this um, lesson that I'm returning to, which we have all been studying for the past um, one or two weeks now, we read that um, 12 spies were sent out, actually not ordinary people. They were leaders chosen from each tribe. And they were sent out. And all these 12 leaders or spies, they were all exposed to the same external experiences where they have gone. But unfortunately, they all had different internal conclusions. Some had positive spirit and attitude. Some had negative spirit and negative attitude. What accounted for the difference? What made it um, an issue for 10 people out of 12 having seen the same thing exactly? For 10 people to make a different conclusion while two people stood tall. What you saw, we saw beyond what we saw. We saw God. May God help you and I in all our situations to see beyond that situation and see God. Two spies saw God. They believed that God had a record of conquering, a record of surprises, a record of victories. So this one that you are looking at and you are seeing something different, we, we cannot understand what you are talking about. A different spirit. Could that uh, add Differences in terms of their conclusion be due to the fact that they were from different tribes? I don't think so. Or their perception, or as a result of their socialization process, or as a result of their age differences? I don't think so. We can actually even apply this to ourselves. What is it that makes people to come to church as we have all come? And some are blessed, and some are not. May you and I be among those that will be blessed. Amen. Why is it that some people will hear the same word of God, some will pray through to salvation, genuine experience, and encounter with God, and some will remain the same? The answer is in a different spirit. The Bible tells us that um, Caleb had another spirit with him, with him. It wasn't a, a spirit that is uh, um, a little like the others. It was totally different. The Bible states it is another spirit. May God give you and I another spirit. Amen. 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 Different from the spirit that you have. Another spirit. When um, Rabbi gave me the graphics that they're going to use for this um, sermon, 
I saw something on that graphic which um, they can produce for us to see. There are some people that will look like, if you look at that picture very well, you will see the one that is uh, different. You will see the one that, I too want to be different, but I want to pick a part of this white, and I want to pick a part of the others. A different spirit is a completely different spirit. Oh, yes. We are not talking of look alike. We are talking of something different. Can God do that? Yes. Can you and I be different yes. from the crowd? Yes. God can help you. Amen. God can help me. Amen. We can have a different spirit. Oh, yes. The spirit of Jesus. Yes. If you and I are failing, let us agree that we are the one failing. And God can help us. God can get us out of our failures into what he wants us to be, to be different, totally different. The type that David prayed for, the type that David craved for, when he said, create in me a clean heart. Oh God, renew a right spirit within me. May God do that for all of us. Amen a meek spirit, an obedient spirit, a spirit that is not rebellious, a spirit that will quench murmuring and complaining. 1330, Numbers 1330 tells us, Numbers 1330 tells us, and Caleb, still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once. And possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Amen. May God give us such a spirit. Amen. When people come to you with evil reports, when people come to you with gossip to and backbiting, the boldness of Caleb, may God give you. Amen. The one that we say, What are you telling? What have I got to do with this? Why are you sharing this with me? What do you want me to do with this? Amen. Those are the people that will make heaven. Brother Francis prayed. It has got nothing to do with position. Nothing to do with what you are doing. Whether you are giving something to do in church or not. The qualification for heaven is, is something more than that. Yeah. A clean spirit. Yes. Not a murmuring, complaining, fighting, striving. Such spirit will be bleached in the wilderness of this world. But in the name of Jesus, Amen. you and I, Amen. we will make it in Jesus' name. Amen. That spirit that always just likes to murmur, just like to complain, just like to find trouble, it's not of God. No. The spirit that possessed and prompted Caleb was no doubt the spirit of God. And you know what? The spirit that moved the rebellion people, nothing more than the evil spirit. Let us call a spade a spade. There is no middle ground. You either have the spirit of God or you have the spirit of the devil. Which one is ruling you now? It's good as we are ending the year and even as many people are making some changes, we, we can approach God and say, the, the change I want you to make is to give me another spirit. Amen. Is, that, is that time of the year when we, um, some people do, I live in the parsonage, I don't do that. But some people do, and there's nothing wrong in that, whereby your old furniture, your old car, your old this, you change. Nothing wrong in that. 
add something to that changes you are making. Give me another spirit, O oh Lord. Give me a different spirit, O oh Lord. Give me a new spirit, O oh Lord. You know this spirit thing we're talking about, you, you can't hide. Your works will reveal them. It doesn't matter. In the way you say it, however you present it, your works will show it. That's what we read. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Galatians. Galatians. The book of Galatians chapter 5 that we read together. The works and the fruits. People can see it. People can know it. And you yourself, you know it. So why, why do you want to enter the new year? Why do you want to conclude, close your spiritual uh, account with all these kind of things? Why don't you remit them? You can remit them. You can send them before you to judgment by confessing them to God and asking God to forgive you and he will forgive you and you will enter the new year with a different spirit. That of the devil, very clear. From verse 19. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. I, I take time to um, look at some of these. Lasciviousness will refer to whatever promotes inordinate affection. It's of the devil. May God deliver us from that. Amen. Amen. Idolatry. You don't need to set up something in front of you and be worshipping. Anything on which your affections are set. Anything that replaces God. Unbelief in the heart. Idolatry. You talk of witchcraft. You cannot say you don't go to a tattoo or the, um, what do they call them? Um, fortune teller or whatever you call them. But any practice that has to do with unbelieving in the only one God is witchcraft. It's part of witchcraft. Hatred, ill will against anyone, the spirit of unforgiveness, variance, discord, quarreling, debating, inconsistent, emulations, rivalry spirit. May God deliver you from that. Amen. Seeking to surpass and outdo others. Just when, when, when you see others doing what is right, you always see the negativity. Jealousy. Striving to excel at the expense of another. We're talking of emulations. Wrath. Turbulent passion. Rage. Anger. Fierceness, fury, strife, contention, contest for superiority, contest for position, contest for advantage, seditions, anything that you do to cause divisions, to stir up strife, to sow discord, heresies, holding controversial opinion, nonconformist, envy. Greed, covet the good fortune of others or the blessing of other people. Murders, to spoil or mar the happiness of another or hatred. Drunkenness, you can say I don't drink beer. I don't drink intoxicated drinks. That's part of it. But anything including excessiveness and uncontrollable appetite. Revelings, sinful activities, pleasures, rioting, rebellious. We, we don't want to have anything to do with this. No. We thank God for the death of Jesus Christ Amen. that can wipe away if you have any of this in your soul, in your heart, in your mind, in your behavior. Don't deceive yourself. Open up to God. 
Lord, have mercy upon me. I want your spirit. A different spirit. From verse 22, love. May God give us more of that. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. The Bible says that examine yourself, except ye are reprobate. You know yourself. I know myself. What some of these that I know I am guilty of. Those here that you know you are guilty of, we thank God for the birth of Jesus Christ. We thank God for the opportunity to, have, to be able to pray to him and say, God, here I am. I know myself. And I know you know me. Have mercy upon my soul. Deliver me. He will deliver you. The Bible tells us that there is a spirit in man. Job 32, verse 8. What kind of spirit is in you? There is a spirit in man. Is it the general one? That what everyone does is what I do, same spirit? Or another spirit. When you have another spirit, you may be part of the faithful few. When you have another spirit, you may not be popular. Yeah. When you have another spirit, you may be persecuted. Do you know what they wanted to do to Caleb and Joshua? What, what are you people talking about? They wanted to stone them. But do you know what the Lord did immediately? Yes, That's what the Lord will do for you. Yeah. The Lord will appear. Amen. Enough of Amen. being afraid. I continue to say it until I draw my last breath. And that is, those of us that know the standard of the word of God that we've been taught and that is in our heart, let us stand tall for it. Amen. Irrespective of what others do. Stand tall. And let people see that you are standing. Yes. Amen. Some, some people want to stand. They are like, that's what I said about Daniel. You have a purpose. But again, how can I make this purpose known? The Lord will defend you. Amen. They could have, perhaps, perhaps, maybe, they could have killed Caleb. But immediately, heaven came down. Amen. Heaven will come down to defend you. Amen. We have a saying in my country. One with God is a majority. It doesn't matter. A conniving spirit in the things of God is a heavy curse. May God help us not to be under the curse of God. How many today, they are retarded? They fall short. To pursue, all, to pursue all the blessings that God wants to give them because they magnify the strength of their enemy. Is that not what we learned? You see the way they, they, they relegated themselves and magnified the enemy. We, we are weak. We are nothing. We can't do anything. Have they seen these people fighting? They just saw them standing. And immediately, they, they couldn't see themselves again as God's children. They, they saw themselves as grasshopper. Grasshopper syndrome. May God deliver us from that. Yeah. Don't magnify the enemy. By the special grace of God, devil, Satan, in front of a true child of God is nothing. And I say that by the authority of the word of God. Before a true child of God, as powerful as he is, he would try, God may even give him some permission to do one thing or another. But I can tell you, don't magnify his power. Don't lift him up. Put him where he belongs. Devil is evil. Wherever you are listening, you are evil. Yeah. And by the power Amen. of resurrection, Amen. by the power Amen. that could not hold Jesus, 
in the grave. We put you where you belong. In the name of Jesus, we, we have the right spirit. Enough of all this tormenting of the enemy. How long? Jesus is coming. Let, let us be serious. A minute. If you want to serve God, let's serve him. And if you don't want to, decide you don't want to, we can have another spirit. Let this church change to have another spirit. Enough of our own spirit. Many are prevented from getting to the height, to the depth, to the breadth, to the length of what God has in store for them. The mercy of God, the favor of God. Just because they see themselves as nothing. If you have been saved, you are more than conquerors. Yes. Those that will follow God must have another spirit. Yeah. Another spirit from the world. Yes. Another spirit from their own spirit. They must have the spirit of Caleb. Mm -hmm. And you know what God will do for them? During the time of general apostasy, when people are falling away, and you decide to have another spirit standing tall for your God, standing tall for your Savior. You know what the Lord is going to do? God, when the time of general calamity comes, God will set them free. God will protect them. God will stand by them. And at last, they will inherit heavenly Kenya. Many people did. Noah had a different spirit. May God help me to have a different spirit. May God help you to have a different spirit. When the whole world was upside down, Noah, and he was able to teach his household, and his household completely obeyed him. What a challenge. A different spirit. And when the general calamity came, mm. did God leave him alone? No. Yeah. When people were not, when people were unjust, not perfect, they were not working with God, he did all the opposite of that. Mm. He was just. He was perfect. Mm. He worked with God. Yeah. You remember Abraham and Laban? We are talking of a different spirit. When there was a strife between the headsmen of Laban and Abraham, Lot, thank you, Lot, thank you, God bless you, Lot and um, Abraham, what did Abraham do? A different spirit. A different spirit. He could have said, Lot, you know what, um, go here, go there. Uh, after all, I, I brought you with me. Lord, come, come, let's have a talk. We have some people around. They are watching us. They are looking. We, we should not fight. Don't let this noise go around. The name of our God will be, will be put to shame. To shame. Let there be no strife. Is that the spirit you and I have? The spirit that we say, after you? After you. Is that not what we do for each other on the, at the door? Physically? Let's do that spiritually. After you. Not the one of struggling. 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 Me. 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 It's me. It's of the devil. After you. No, 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 sister. No, brother. Take your own. Uh -uh. After Lord chose. Yes. 
Did Abraham lose? No. 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 You are not going to lose. We're talking of a different spirit. We're talking of another spirit. The one that we prefer the other first. The three Hebrew children, you think it was very easy? When every, everyone fell down, they could have, I want to scratch my leg. I'm not bending, I'm only scratching my leg. They could have done something like that. I believe they, they were like this. Today is today. And out of everybody, they could see the three standing tall when everyone fell down. No fear. Because they saw God. May you see God. May we see God. May God give us faith to obey God, to believe the promise of God, just to let God, even if they will kill us. Is that not what he said? We know our God. He will deliver us. You know, if you read your Bible very well, you will observe that these three Hebrew children that were taken captives, they were not only three that were taken. But the training that they have got from home, in the foreign land they are they were now, at this time, when they saw other Jews doing whatever they like, ah, are we not from the same land of Israel? Is it not because we are now in this strange land that they are doing this? Ah. Shadrach, Meshach, you want to do like them? Um, Abednego, you want to do like them? No, 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 no. Three of us, okay. We are not following them. We are standing tall. A different spirit. Didn't Jesus Christ, the Son of God, did he not leave his throne in heaven? Did he not come down? Did he not appear with them in the flame? When the flame burnt even some people that took them there, nothing. Not even, the Bible says, no smell. Different spirit pays off. Another spirit pays off because it is of God. And God will defend it. A different spirit is a sensitive spirit. Yes. You remember David? When he caught the, after people are talking and talking and talking and talking, and he got carried away, even though he was passing and passing and was saying, no, 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 I won't touch the anointed of God. With all everything that Saul was doing, I will not touch him. I will not touch him. But then, of course, the time came, being human, caught the skirt of the garment of Saul, and the word of God says, and his heart smote him. Yeah. Yeah. A different spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you don't just talk anyhow. Say things anyhow. Behave anyhow. Take laws into your hand anyhow. The spirit of who can take me? Who is there? Who will talk to me? It's of the devil. A sensitive spirit is the one that is so careful. A sensitive spirit is the one that is mm -mm, the, the mind of Christ. What will Christ do? How will Christ take this? Joseph had a different spirit. You know, those people that we always put the positive construction on what people do. Joseph you didn't do anything, my brothers. God did it all. Ah, uh ah. -uh. A different spirit. Some of us have not even heard that A and B did anything to us. It's just the one that they say that I say what I said, not what I said that I said is when I said. That's all you have heard. And it's already a big issue, a magnified issue. Salvation is gone. Instead for you to put a positive construction. It's my brother. It's my sister. 
this thing that you are saying. Some people, they will bring bad report to them, and then before they know it, oh, yeah, hey, may God deliver us. Oh, yes, I heard too. You know, it happened in that place too. May God have mercy. Hey, it happened like this, and it happened like that. God have, they'll be putting God have mercy in, in, in between. And they are talking about their brother. They are talking about their sister. Hey, oh, God have mercy. They won't behave like Caleb. What are you telling me? Why are you spreading that? Why should that come to me? If you have seen it, deal with it. If you have had it, deal with it. If we are not careful, this one sin of spreading evil report of not being able to control ourselves when we hear anything about anyone or not having a different spirit, this one thing will bar many people from entering heaven. May that not bar you. Amen. May it not bar me. Amen. If one is not careful, this kind of spirit can even overtake an incredible Christian. Remember the disciples. When Jesus Christ wanted to pass through Samaria, and they would, not want, they, they would not permit him to pass through. And the disciples, the disciples of Jesus Christ, they said, let us call them fire. Why would they not let you go through? Can't they see all that you are doing? Jesus, Elias did it. Let us also call them fire. Burn these people. Jesus Christ. Luke 9.55 tells us, what Jesus Christ did. Know ye not the type of spirit that ye have, brothers and sisters? Many of us don't know what type of spirit, what manner of spirit that we have. But of course, those who have the spirit of the devil, they will always want to follow the devil. Those who have the spirit of God, immediately they are corrected. The Spirit of God give them a nudge. They will listen. They will do something about it. Or a brother, or a sister, or a pastor, or a minister, or a teacher. They will listen. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, fine. If somebody is bringing something that you don't... You know, how can you hear something? I tell people, yes, thank God I'm a pastor. And I also want to make heaven. It's my paramount uh, uh, goal. More than anything. As we are discussing this uh, uh, um, among us uh, during the course of this week with some other people, teachers and pastors, we're talking of, oh, how about we pastor? I say, well, God will help us. God, they will bring things to us, and they have to. I don't like to hear things. I don't want to hear things. Go to that person. Go and sort it out. Of course. You follow the Bible, where you have tried your best, and still it has to get to the pastor, then it has to get to the pastor. Yeah. But no pastor will be saying, bring it to me, bring it. I don't want it. God bless you. God bless you. I want to make heaven. Yes. Amen. You hear about your brother, about your sister, mm. and immediately you meet each other there. Oh, that brother who did this, mm. that sister who did that, mm. that one who is doing that. Is that not, some people cannot even greet each other today. As a brother is coming, or sister is coming, no, oh, that brother used this and that. Just because of what you have had. Hellfire. May God deliver you. Amen. A different spirit. What kind of spirit do you have? Spirit of truth or of error? Spirit like that of Caleb? Or the one of compromise? The one that God will testify? The one that God will say... Because I have seen in Isaac, in Jacob, in Stella, in Eunice, in Mary, in this and that, I have seen another spirit. And therefore, when you draw your last breath, heaven gates. Open a jar. Let him come in. He has another spirit within. Give him abundance entrance. Yeah. 
Is that the kind of entrance you want? Yes. Or the one that will say, I don't know him. He has the spirit of the devil. He has no uh, 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 anything about another spirit whatsoever. The altars are opened. I implore you, don't carry that spirit into the new year. Come to God and beg God. Come to God and pray to God. Come to God and plead for the blood. Come to God and ask for deliverance. Come to God and ask him to set you free. Jesus will answer your prayer. He will give you another spirit. He will give you a different spirit. Be it to you according to your desire. come before thee with all of our hearts, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. Oh Lord, we are on bended knees. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon us. We plead for the blood. We are nothing, Lord. We are just filthy rags, Lord. Oh, come and cleanse us, Lord. Create in us a new heart. Create in us a new spirit. Change us, Lord. Once more, change us, Lord. We believe that the blood of Jesus still has the power to change. He still has the power to make us anew. Come down and own our altars. Come down and hear our petition. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.